In only a few days, we got some amazing updates to the text generation web UI. Super ultra speed, optimized VRAM usage, and the ability to get 8000 token size limit on Llama based models. And all of that thanks to the implementation of X Llama. Oh, you're gonna love this. Hello, humans, when we scale your AI overload, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, finally some good AI news on the LLM side. Because I gotta say, these last few weeks I've been quite poor when it comes to interesting AI advancements. But finally, here we go. These last few days have been fantastic because we now have some insane upgrades to the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, thanks to the implementation of Xlama. Now, what is Xlama? Why is it so cool? Well, to make it simple, Xlama is basically a super optimized loader for Llama models that uses much less VRAM than the previous loaders before. And also, not only this uses less VRAM, it is also much, much faster. I mean, like, how? Look at this. Before, we go from 8 tokens per second, and if now I change it to Xlama, we go to 40 tokens a second. And all of that while using 2 gigabytes of VRAM less for a 13 billion parameter model. Like, excuse me, hello, what is this sorcery? Like, please call Hogwarts right now. Yeah, this is already fantastic. I mean, in one little update, we get less VRAM usage and higher generation speed. This is fantastic. However, that's not all, because thanks to Xlama, and thanks to a bunch of amazing people, we now have the ability of increasing the token context size of Llama models from 2000 tokens to around 8000 tokens. That's right. And it's all thanks to amazing developers like Kyoken Dev, TurboDorp, and of course Ubabuga. Now for those of you who don't know what token context size is, it's basically the memory of a model. It's how much information can a model process all at once. And we call it tokens. So like for example, if you were to copy and paste a very very long article into chat box and then ask the model a question about the article, the model will not be able to answer your question correctly because there are just too many tokens to process. There is just way too much information, which is why if you want to have a correct answer, you need to paste a smaller article. And you also get the same issue if you try to have a very long conversation with a model. If for example in the beginning of the conversation you say, hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Slim Shady, and then you ask the model what is my name, the model will answer your name is Slim Shady. Great, fantastic. But now, after a while, if your conversation starts to become a little bit too long, the model will start forgetting all the information you gave previously. And that's because the model attained its current token size limit. And to be able to ingest new information, the model needs to make some space by forgetting previous informations. This is why when some of you are having some sexy schmixy roleplay with your character, you will often notice that your character will either change how they speak or will forget the situation you are in. And that's again because they have hit the token size limit. And of course, the bigger that size limit, the more information the model will be able to process and remember. And up until now, llama based models could only process 2048 tokens. But now, thanks to a developer called Kayoken Dev, this limit can now be increased to around 8000 tokens. Well, at least on paper. Now, Obviously, if you want to increase the token size limit, you're gonna need a pretty beefy GPU, because the current limit with a 24GB VRAM is around 6079 tokens for a 13 billion parameter model and 3100 tokens for a 13 billion parameter model. Which again is still incredible because we managed to triple the amount of tokens available for a 13 billion parameter model, and even if you have a lower VRAM GPU, you will still benefit from the update since now it will just require less VRAM to run a model. So really, in the end, it's just a win-win-win situation. Now, to be able to enjoy this fantastic update, you need to, of course, update the text generation to the latest version. And to do this, all you need to do is just double-click on the update windows.bat file, which will automatically update the web UI to its latest version. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't understand what this is, I highly recommend that you watch my installation video that I did previously. So if you haven't installed the web UI already, you need to watch this video first. And then, once you've launched the web UI, if now you go to model, you will see here here a brand new option called Model Loader, and if you click on it, you will see here a bunch of new options. Now if you have a GPU, the two options that you were using before are either AutoGPTQ or much older GPTQ for Llama. However, now you will see two brand new options called Xlama and Xlama HF. Now the two differences between the two Xlama is that the normal Xlama is a little bit faster but uses a little bit more VRAM, while the Xlama HF is almost as fast as the Xlama one, but this version is definitely even more optimized for smaller GPU. So 
So basically, if you have a very powerful GPU and you want the best speed, you need to choose X Llama. And if you have a smaller GPU, you're gonna choose the HF version. And if you want to know how big is the difference between all of those loaders, let me show you. Let me just select a model. I'm gonna take the VCOMLOCK 30 billion parameter model with Auto GPTQ. As you can see, a 30 billion parameter model with Auto GPTQ uses around 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And if I type a prompt, it took around 25 seconds to generate with a speed of 5.48 tokens per second. If now we use Xlama HF, this now uses around 18.4 gigabytes of VRAM and with the same instruction, generate the same answer in around 8 seconds for around 16 tokens per second, which is basically 3 times as fast. 3 times as fast to use 4 gigabytes less VRAM. I mean, this is just sorcery. This is amazing. However, the way things are right now, you cannot use the 8000 token limit because if for example I were to paste this entire article that I found online which is around 2600 tokens which is definitely above what the token limit is for that model and this is really just a simple article but really really long in the beginning you have here the title, the authors, the name of the illustrator and now if I ask the question who did the illustrations for the article and I click on generate the model basically says that it was provided by a team of illustrator from PictoChart which is unfortunately not correct because if you check the name of the illustrator you see that the actual name is Diana Young and that is because we need to change a few things because to be able to increase the size limit you need to change some of the values right here so here for the maximum sequence length you're gonna start increasing that limit and the maximum limit that you can input at least on paper is 8192 this is the maximum token size that you can input for a llama model but obviously again the higher the token number the more VRAM you're gonna use and for the compressed post embed you need to input a number that is basically the maximum sequence length divided by 2048 so basically if here you input 8000 tokens here you're gonna input 4 if here you input 4096 tokens here you're gonna input 2 etc etc and actually for this example since my article is only 3000 tokens long I'm gonna leave it at 4000 and then I'm gonna click on reload and then finally I'm gonna click on parameters and then here I'll truncate the prompt up to this length you're gonna increase it to the amount of tokens that you inputted previously so in my case it is 4096 and now without changing anything with the same question if now I click on generate lo and behold we get Diana Young for The Verge and if you check it was indeed the case. Meaning that just like that, we managed to increase the token size limit of our model by only playing around with some of those parameters. Now this is really cool and all, but however there is a few issues. First of all, the maximum sequence length, although in theory you can increase it to around 8192, the actual real limit is around 6000 tokens. I definitely noticed that the higher you go, the less efficient the model becomes. So I definitely suggest that you keep this number lower than 6000. Now it will still work but for better results it's best to keep this number as low as possible and the second thing is that to be able to really make use of that technology you need to actually use special models you need to use models that are merged with the special 8000 token LoRa created by the developer called KO Ken Dev. but no worries because our dear user the block has now a bunch of these 8k models as you can see right here and there is really a lot to choose from so basically now each time that you see the super hot 8k GPTQ, this is an 8K compatible model. And for this video, the two models that I personally tested and downloaded are the Visual Vicuña 13B Uncensored Super Hot 8K GPTQ model and the Wizard LM 33 billion V1.0 Uncensored Super Hot 8K GPTQ. Oh my god, this is a mouthful. But basically, all of those models are now compatible with the X Llama 8000 token context size. So again, I'm gonna leave a link for those models in the description down below. If you want to download one, you're gonna come here, click on this little icon to copy this entire name. Then in model, under download custom model Aurora, you're gonna paste the name right here and then click on download. Then you're gonna wait for everything to be downloaded on your computer. Click here to refresh the list. Then don't forget to choose the X Llama for the model loader. And then choose your model. That will be loaded automatically. And now you're ready to have some fun. So now you might be asking, okay, so that's great and all, but what exactly I can use it for? Well, basically for this, I see two usage. The first is, of course, to be able to summarize very easily a long article or a very complex paper that you won't be able to summarize it otherwise. Like, for example, I'm gonna take this paper that is like around 3000 token long, which would be way too big for any previous Llama models. If now I paste it right here, 
here, if then I ask the model to summarize this entire paper and I click on generate, I get this full summary written in a few seconds. And now if I want to ask more information about the paper, like for example, what is the title of the paper? Who are its authors and the date of publication? And of course, as you see, it gives me the perfect title with all the names of the authors, the name of the university. And it also says that the paper was published in June 2023, which is of course 100% correct. So this is just really fantastic. So just like that, very easily, you can now take any interesting or very complex papers and summarize them inside the text generation web UI. And the second way to take advantage of this new token size limit is of course roleplay. Because now that you have increased content size limit, your conversation with this new character can now be way longer while still be able to remember a lot of the previous information. Which is just fantastic. Come on now, this is pretty cool. So yeah, there you go, this was X Lama. Another big upgrade to the text generation web UI and the open source NNM community that is again making NNM models more powerful and easier to use for everyone. And that's just fantastic. So definitely try this out because this is really, really cool. And there we are with folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon and YouTube supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.